on the right, then he went over to the left, created the second goal. He will potentially start on that left-hand side today and provide to Falcao. We fully anticipate Mbappe will play up alongside Falcao, be that second striker. He'll look to stretch this Manchester City. in three seasons. Underway, first leg of the round of 16. Mario Torre hooking it in, Sterling's in behind him, Mendy, and Subasic. The flag was up for offside anyway, but scrambling off his line to break it up. But it was a good break from City. Started with De Bruyne, who makes that powerful, positive run down this right-hand side. Torre joins in, and Raheem Sterling is just a half-step offside there. Trying to get in behind, good combination. Alpha, though, it's given right back away. Uh, Leroy Zane, now Lamar, trying his luck, pulling it wide. Very tricky player, Thomas Lamar, always looking for that left foot. He plays on yeah. each other's team's chances. David Silva, this is a good little moment for Man City. Leroy Zane overhit it, but you saw a little bit of that rhythm there building. And that's what they're looking for, just a patient build-up, moving the ball side to side, and then when the space is on between the lines, and it's David Silva initially, we're eventually... Hang on the pass by Zane, now Sterling, David Silva, Aguero further inside, back out for Sterling instead, the flag is up for offside. Well, if we're going to credit Monaco for their flashes and attack, Manchester City have shown the same. On Sané, the nutmeg on Yaya Torre, the ball in for Radamel Falcao, and just enough from all around him, and Subasic not doing quite enough, Aguero steals in, he's got a halfway empty net, Rogi gets his head. Season with Monaco has already surpassed last season's totals for goals and assists, and he hooks it in, Yaya Torre missed it, as did Camille Glick, one of the highest scoring defenders from set pieces in Europe, and you wonder if Torre maybe got enough of a touch to put him off. I think he did because Glick, he's not expecting this one. It just hits him straight in the face. It is a little flick off of Toure's head. Ball here, maybe comes one. Sterling, De Bruyne comes together. The cross for Aguero. He missed it. Now he was leaving it. Well, you just got to look at the benefit of having a left back in Fernandinho that's comfortable with the ball at his feet. He can drift in the central midfield. He starts this play by coming to the middle of the park. He hits dancing his way through. It's a great tackle, but it fell right for David Silva. Back to the feet of Sané. Now the cross for Raheem Sterling. And Man City do get the breakthrough. Leroy Sané doing the hard work. Raheem Sterling applying the finish. And City in front. Well, there's the breakthrough Manchester City were looking for. Zane just gets the ball. have scored 26 more goals than PSG in the league this season. Mbappe crossing in. Falcao, the diving header. As if on cue. Rodamel Falcao's 14th goal in his last 15 games in all competitions. And it's dead square just past the half hour mark. And, and this comes from Manchester City orchestrating their own problems. This is the third or fourth time when the ball's been at Caballero's feet that he's given it away. And ball in from Fabinho, but... Great ball that from David Silva, and another one from Debrada, Aguero! Penalty! Or maybe not. It's a dive! Antonio Mateo Lajos, the Spanish referee. Guardiola can't believe it. But judging that Aguero went down by himself. Well, this is a big moment in the match because Aguero, but there is contact in the box. Well, here they come again. It's Mbappe who fires over the bar. Falcao won the header. Wouldn't that have been something if Monaco would have come down the field to win it? Just quickly, for me, that is a penalty kick in Manchester City. And Claudio, unfortunate, but Falcao wins this one. And in a flash, again, Monaco... Quickly in, Mbappe's going to get there, Mbappe! 18 years of age, the bright young star of this Monaco side, Kylian Mbappe played just 25 minutes of the group stage, has become a starter in the winter, he's on fire now, 12 goals in all competitions, and Monaco has flipped this game on its head.
Well, Manchester City are getting completely exposed at the back. Sané, back for David Silva, back for Leroy Sané, kept it in play. Subasic couldn't do enough. Over. Lamar picks it up, options either side, it's Falcao. Takes it just wide. Monaco going close to a third. And they continue to create excellent chances. Any Anytime they pick up the ball in transition. Mateo Lahoz back to Rob Stone and the guys after the break. 45 minutes down, 45 to go. Monaco. It appears at the break. 45 more minutes before the scene shifts to Monaco in three weeks from the second leg. And Stu for Mendy. Early cross in for Falcao. Like a little bit of contact there with Otamendi. Ended up just wide. Falcao thought there should have been a penalty. And it's Mendy again on the left-hand side. I... Have they flipped this and called a penalty and a yellow for Otamendi? There's contact. There's contact certainly from Otamendi. Originally we saw the referee's hand up seeming to suggest offside. Yeah, that's a penalty. The referee is right there and he has awarded it. And Otamendi... Caught passes later. Mendy's firing this one across. Falcao's right there in the middle of the goal, just lurking. He gets his ball. Saved by Caballero. What an excellent game of football. And Caballero comes up big. All the build-up before, Radamel Falcao had to readjust his run. Drawing in on Bernardo Silva, the cross takes a deflection dangerously. Cleared away by Mendy. De Bruno swings it, a great ball, it's just wide. It might have been an offside flag anyway. Well, the delivery is sensational. Mendy trying to get back, Aguero's in front of him, rolled in, Aguero's onside, Aguero. And a mistake in the back! by Zubasic, let it in past him. Aguero's goal, two apiece, still over a half hour to go. And you can see the frustration on Zubasic's face. He knows that was a poor mistake from the goalkeeper, but full credit to Raheem Sterling, who picks this one up inside his own half. A well-timed run. Foot race with Stones. Stones can't quite do it up. Falcao, how about that? What a goal! What a moment! What a statement by Monaco! What a finish. This is just an individual effort from Radamel Falcao. And here's Monaco. It's that's going to be Sterling's ball. If he can get out of control, takes a contact. Zane's shot is blocked. This was the opportunity. It was a deep run from Sterling. Gets him behind. It's a little contact, shoulder to shoulder. I think the referee gets this one right. Bench. Meanwhile, Lamar. Mbappe trying to find space. Cutting back on Zabaleta. And then he fires into the outside netting. Well, the referee was in an excellent spot. First, we've got to look at Mbappe on this. He players a chance. Always forced, tough for the defenders to defend. David Silva this time. Stones attacking it to Guerrero! On the volley! It's 3 all. Not just six goals tonight, but some really special ones. And this thing's not yet done. winner give themselves an edge going to the second leg in three weeks time to brought a swung in Torres up for it stones plays it in and man city take the lead career European goal for the 22 year old John Stones Aguero able to skip around Glick Aguero wants it himself Subasic the save I wonder if some David Silva clipping it in the return Aguero unselfish to Leroy Sané 5-3 for Manchester City what a night
challenged already, but it's still true. We're not done yet. Because all of a sudden, here's Mendy on the outside. The cross for Falcao, saved by Cobb. And what a couple of big moments that man has had for the giveaways in possession, a penalty save, and a huge stop right there. And it's Falcao again, and he's always in and around. Ready for Champions League round of 16, sensationally finishes.